Let's see one. All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, all praise is honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, I came across the world, pushing his word in truth and in sincerity and with surety. And um, the topic of discussion, you know, this morning as I go off to, let me see if this is good. Okay. The topic of discussion really is, man, I was uh, a video just popped up from the, the elder in North Carolina. And um, the title of his video says, what type of judgment will you receive for your works? You know, and this is uh, first and foremost to myself. <laughs> you know, as always, as we always were supposed to uh, reprove and examine ourselves. You know, but really, that's really a, 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 a very uh, good, good uh, point. You know, a good title. And um, because all of us in the truth, what reward do we want to receive for our works? We want to receive that kingdom, man. We want to receive everlasting life. We want to receive uh, the wealth and the riches of the earth. And that's all going to come through Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And, you know, but at the same time, our whole job during this time of grace, all right, as, uh, you know, the elder Kazaka, Kazaki Allah, you know, as he uh, recently changed his name to the spirit, um, he, 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 he made the, the word grow a keyword, you know? And, you know, I always like to um, implement that, that sentiment into my walk, you know? Always looking for areas where you're supposed to be growing. Always looking for areas where you're supposed to be getting better. In certain areas, it may be the smallest things in your life, but it's what, it's, it's a part of your lot, which means that you should probably, you know, tweak it and grow in that, that little uh, key area, you know? And that's, you know, everybody's bro every brother's walk is different. So he said, um, let me read it again. What type of judgment will you receive for your works? And that makes me think of also the talents, you know? Brothers get different uh, gifts and different uh, uh, understanding and wisdom and knowledge to, to pour forth back into uh, the body, into the body of believers out there, you know, that, all, that are all around the world now. You know, because the fruit of Yahweh Shemi Shai is waking up through the... And it, it all stems from who? The apostles and elders of Great Millstone, most, for the most part. You know, the 100% truth. And, um, you know, really just taking advantage of this, uh, this, uh, this grace period that the Lord gave us to do what? To examine ourselves and grow in knowledge and in wisdom. Now, let me grab a scripture real quick. I'm going to grab that same one, uh... Kazaki Allah's grab, which is growing grace. Let's see if I can find it here in a second. Yep. This is uh second Peter's three and eighteen. It says, but grow. I'm gonna go to that word grow. And it's, it's crazy because the apostles, you know, they just, they, you know, the apostles and the elders and elders all around uh, uh, the nation that are a part of Great Millstone were uh, going into the fact that we have to grow. You know, we're supposed to be getting better and better in uh, all aspects, really. And it's to myself, first and foremost, because there's a lot of stuff that I want to change, man. I don't, I think I don't got it, bro, because <laughs> uh, Zaki Allah said, we all don't got it, man. But what we do have, we have to really utilize and grow in it, in uh, whatever little aspects the Lord, the little gifts and stuff and lots and little uh, trials and tribulation the Lord uh, gave us to, as a hurdle to get over it. We have to grow to the point where what? We're exercised enough to get over that hurdle eventually. And that's, and that's really, you know, to myself first and foremost, really what that growth um, shows forth. It shows forth the fact that you used and you utilized the wisdom and knowledge to get over a hurdle in your life, right? That was presented Presented to you from Yahweh Bashim Yahshai as what a test for uh, to, to grow you. This word grow is G three eight G eight three six to cause to grow arguments 
to increase, become greater. So this is what it, uh, 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 it's talking about when it says to grow. You know, become greater in um, all of your, uh, all of the different aspects of this truth to the best of your ability, of course. To grow, increase of plants. You know, and we're considered what that pleasant plant of your halbashimiyal shot. So what if you have a pleasant plant and you're watering it? You're giving it sunlight. You're giving it the best earth, which is this truth. What are you going to expect? You're going to expect a beautiful flower to blossom, to grow. Or how many other uh, flowers or plants you planted? You're expecting them to grow into, you know, full, healthy plants, man. Of infants, of a multitude of people, of inward Christian growth. Your inward man, all right, is renewed. What does it say? Your inward man, your inward man is renewed day by day. This is what the Lord uh, woke us up for, really, to become. Because what we're becoming those leaders, all right? We're becoming those leaders of what? Of Lord willing Israel to rule over people. That's why um, the elders of Hobbes said that we're, what we're gonna rule, all right, over people soon, man. <laughs> Seems uh, wild, but yeah, that's what I mean. That's what the Lord is uh, gonna ordain for what the elect of Israel, the remnant. Which I'm trying to I'm trying to be a part of that, man. So I wanna I wanna continue to grow. It says to enlarge, literal or figurative, active or passive. Grow up. See? Key. Grow up. Give the increase. So that's the whole uh, uh, object of the, uh, the grace period, man. But grow in grace. But grow in the grace. Second Peter 3 and 18. But grow in grace and in knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. All right, so that's the whole point. That's the whole point where we are to, um, to grow. This is um, this is Colossians chapter one. Colossians chapter one verse nine. For this cause, we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and to desire that she might be filled with the knowledge of his will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding. That's what we're trying to grow into. All right. Coming out of this world, we've learned the ways of this world, the ideologies of this world. And, you know, some of the times it stays, that superfluity stays. So we're supposed to grow out of that. That's why um, brothers, you know, brothers are like, oh, the Lord. We don't know when the Lord is going to do what he's going to do on the earth. But um, it's really so we can get prepared because the Lord can do this whenever he wants. But it's something with his His men. All right. It's a, it's a, it's a certain uh, period with his men he wants to really utilize to help them grow. And that's the grace period we're in now. That's why he wants us to grow up. Now, I never read that, that definition in there, that grow up definition. Um verse 10 that ye might walk worthy of the lord unto all pleasing being fruitful in every good work and increasing increasing in the knowledge of the most high and that's 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 a very good point man and that's uh that's the spirit i want to have man all right it says that we should go from glory to glory in this truth man let's see uh i'm gonna get that word for increasing turn this down increasing and it's not gonna be too long man um i just this is just on my spirit man because it's really to myself increasing to cause to grow argument and there it is again to become greater same thing as grow <laughs> oh that's damn the spirit all right and we all we have to do this or because this is us walking worthy of yahweh from yahweh shai and walking worthy of what his sacrifice because if you're not growing, you're really saying that his sacrifice is um, basically it was in vain because he died for you to still stay the same, and, and that's not the that's not that's not even the case at all. Um, verse eleven, strengthened with all might, according to his glorious power unto all patience, which is suffering, and long suffering with joyfulness. Give thanks unto the Father which hath made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. All right. So call Hello Yahweh Shai for making us meet. 
if we continue to grow and uh, expand and increase in the knowledge of you, how about Shemi Al Shai, man? All right. Um, let's get another scripture. Um, bear with me one second. First Peter's two, we all know this. First Peter's two and two, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. That's the whole since since you're first coming into the truth, to myself first and foremost, you're first coming into the truth, you're supposed to be like a, a plant, just planted in that good soil that's about to that's always watered. Because the Lord said he always gonna he's always gonna water his men. Alright? You're giving the good sight and the sunlight. <laughs> Which is Yahweh Shah, he's the light. You know, so really what? You should be sprouting up. You should be growing. All right? And it's all from the desire of staying in his word, staying attached to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, man. You know, and that's really it, man. Just just growth to my... This is really to myself, so I just decided to post it. You know, if, you know, might benefit another brother watching and listening. But, um... Yeah, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahshai requires growth. Um, he, he, desi he desires more discipline. These are things I'm talking about that I want to get better in. Discipline, and I'm pretty sure other brothers, discipline, all right, mercy, judgment, all of these things, man. That's the growth that Yahweh Bashem Yahshai wants, man. And uh, Lord willing, you know, that gets us, myself, brothers, the apostles, so on and so forth, you know, a trip onto that chariot, man. Because we're at the end of the society. This society is, it's, it's through. Okay, there's nothing else left, um, <laughs> but to grow in the grace of Yahweh Bashem Shai. So, Lord willing, us edifying. Call hello Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Citations to you, Akim, across the world, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity. And with charity, Shalom and a Bob Ball.